Hey guys, it's Michael from GFX Body bringing you a new quick tip. Today I want to show you how to create a kind of L Studio. And what I mean with an L Studio is I want to show you an L Studio in real life. It's something like this. You, you can buy it and it, it's like for little objects when you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so one more time. Um, you're using this kind of L Studio if you're taking photos of little objects, and I want to recreate this L Studio and Cinema 4D. I just did it, and you can see what we're um, going to make. So let's make a new document, go and render settings, and let's make 16 by 9 so we do not have this ugly gray boxes. Okay, we're going to start off with a normal rectangle. Here we go. And we have to shrink that down. Though maybe to 10 by 10. And you see it's pretty small. Next thing we need is an oh sorry, another rectangle and this rectangle um has to be really big. Like 1,500 by 1,500. That's I guess that's a good size. You can also make that bigger. It depends, but I leave that with 1,500. We can also rename our rectangles. I name that basic shape. That'll be our well, small rectangle. And what we have to do now is go to our basic shape or our big rectangle and select rounding. And you see, you've got rounding and all the stuff, but we just have to play a little with the radius of our. Um, this areas are looking pretty strange, the corners are not really round. So we just have to uh, make our radius bigger, I guess 350. I guess that's a little bit too big. Let's make it 200, 310 is a good one. Okay, next thing we have to do is make this basic shape or a big rectangle editable. You can use this button or just um, press C on your keyboard like this and you will see you've got another icon and it's editable. Next thing you have to do is unselect no, hang on. Select? No, it was okay. You have to unselect close spline. What this makes it our splines looks like a C now. And uh, now you have to go to your point selection over here and use your laugh selection tool. <laughs> Sorry guys. You see um this little points over here and you select one and just delete it. That's pretty simple. This, and you see you've got your L um, shape right there. Looks a little bit um, little because or small because we zoomed out. Now we need, we have to go to all our nerves and use a sweet nerve, a sweep, not a sweet, a sweep nerve. And you just basically have to drag out your little rectangle into your sweep nerves like this and you um, take your uh, basic shape and just drag that like this and you will see you've got a little stripe and it looks kind of strange and all so what you have to do now is you go you to your rectangle and um, you have to increase your height to maybe 1500 that's a little bit too small, that looks kind of strange. Maybe 3000? Yeah, that looks kind of good. Maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe 2850. Yeah, that looks good. And the next thing is on the whip, on your small rectangle, you can select just one because if you take a look from this side, you do not have to 
use 10 or something like that. Um, so use 1. Okay, and our radius is actually pretty good, but as I told you, you can use whatever radius you want to use. Also, what we can do now is just create a new material, go to the color channel, and select just simple white and turn off specular. Apply this to your sweep, sweep, sorry guys, the sweep nerves, and use a normal light maybe, drag it a little bit up, zoom in, down like this, render this out, and you will see you've got your basic um, L Studio ready to go. You can save that now and put this to your content browser now. And what, what, whenever you want this or want to use your studio, just open it up and you can put whatever you want to a cube or whatever you want to. Also, what I want to say now, um, thank you, Robert. He, he's here in Skype. Um, it's Rob from RDC Studios. He just um, showed me this website where our L Studio is real life and where you can um, take a look at this okay so guys um, thank you for watching this little quick tip and I hope I see you guys soon bye